experience make una no vex i thank god beguna what really they happen with fuel for nigeria what really they go on with fuel because it can't be like say maybe na me they mad a uh, honorable minister for petroleum president ashiwa jubola met sinubu you are the minister for petroleum you made yourself minister for petrol Minister for State Petroleum, Honorable Henikin Lokobiri from Bayelsa State. Minister for State Gas Resources, Mr. Ekperi Peikbu from Akwaibom State. Your Excellencies, Honorable Ministers, please, in the name of whatever you hold sacred, what exactly is going on in the petro petroleum sector? Mr. President, I thank God beg you, sir. Are you is your government fighting for the welfare of Nigerians? I be this government has become the weapon that is formed against our lives. And if because as it is today now, I do not exactly understand. On the 29th of May 2023, during your inauguration, you said fuel subsidy is gone. During end bad governance protests, you say yes, yeah, subsidy regime is gone and all of that. Today, as we they talk. The petroleum price has more than doubled, a bit tripled. The, the, some places, 850, 950. The painful part is that if you go around, filling stations just they under lock and key. Most of them no get fuel. The ones where get, they go sell for money, they go lock and for night. Nobody just understands what is going on. I suppose to travel this today now, say I won't go Benin for a family program. When I reach one transport company for, for Yaba from Lagos to Benin, the price where they tell me, I can't wonder whether na economy na flight tickets have been at airport na in my day. Na ita kukuma carry myself, come house, come sit down. What exactly is going on in Nigeria? Is it that everything in Nigeria is supposed to kill Nigerians? And the painful part of this matter is the way nobody feels accountable to anybody. Nobody says anything. Nobody, nobody thinks that they owe Nigerians any explanation. For weeks, filling stations have been under lock and key. People cannot afford it. Coupled with the hunger, inflation, everything where they country. But the president is the minister for petrol. The same thing President Buhari did for eight years, made himself minister for petroleum. President Buhari, who was a retired military general and came that he wanted to fight insecurity, somehow the only ministry he saw to become pet minister was petrol. The same thing with the current president. Nobody, they think, may they be minister for security, may they be minister for health, agriculture, or anything. They think we will not be fine for petroleum ministry. No problem. Now, allow the petroleum products make their day available since you are minister now. No way. As we they talk now, the president don't enter private jets, he don't fly, go France. They say the president is on a work stay. I never hear, if you ask me what is work stay, now who I go ask? For other countries, you go here, the president traveled on a walking visit, on a state visit. Nigeria's president, with the new presidential jet, when Nigerians, they cry, say hunger, say this, that, and this. They don't finally, they don't buy the jet already. They don't fly an um, um, airbus. He don't go France for a work stay. So to hell with anybody and whatever that is going on. With insecurity, where they Nigerians, where they talk. Today, a report of, say, the Emir of Gobi in Sokoto, the, the, the traditional ruler who was kidnapped how many weeks ago, the demand for 60 million a, a ransom. They, they have reported now that the man has been killed. Students who were traveling from University of Jos and University of Meduguri, going for FECAM's conference, whether in Benue State or Tupo, a, a, a federation of a medical, Catholic medical and dental students. Still, today, they are still in the bush with kidnappers. People, children are with kidnappers right now. The president is not in the country. Nobody gives Nigerians heads up on anything or whatever. The Nigerians are just like we are in one big NYC field or, or a big jungle. So whatever that happens to you, it is survival of the fittest. And it is like we are operating hunger games. That they increase the pressure for suffer. Anybody will survive this level. You, If you not die, you go face the next one. That is how it feels. Please, Minister for Petroleum, help us and explain what exactly is going on with fuel and petroleum crisis. Power Minister, they do in own calisthenics. CBN Governor, they do in own a, a, a rehearsals, a ballet dance for there. Everybody from Nigeria, it is Uhuru for public officers. Nobody thinks they owe citizens any explanation. National Assembly, they go go recess, come back, share whatever they want to do, take allowance, argue whether it is 21 million or 19 million. Meanwhile, minimum wage, that 70,000 error. Never implement.
Work I go work for 35 years. The money we go collect as gratuity for in all 35 years. No rich waiting one person. They sit down for National Assembly. Collect in one month. Yet you people say that this country there will be peace, justice, and fair e e equality. When I change national anthem. Do you really know the words in that new national anthem? This is disheartening. This is horrible. This kind of leadership is... The, in fact, Nigeria is almost existing so that other countries can learn how not to govern their countries. Because this is the textbook definition of how not to govern any country. Nigerians are suffering. Please help us and look into this issue of petroleum. Look into the issue of insecurity, inflation and hunger. Let Nigerians have space to breathe. As you said you want, let the poor breathe. Nigerian youth have been they talk to when at the time during end bad governance. When I say an end bad governance, if we not pay visit to National Assembly and demand the electoral reform, make Senate President call President to come meet and for them. We never ready to reform anything because this one now PRC finish. And this Nigeria, we live here, we not die here. Nigeria must work in our lifetime. Honorable Minister for Petroleum, I take whatever you hold sacred, I used to beg you. Please let us see petroleum products let us see fuel make we see food make we see light it is not too much to ask